Are you guys ready for another one? Let's go. It's round number one for your 20 minute all boxing heavy bag workout. We're going to coach you through this one. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Round number one, work your jab and then cover. Work your jab, your lead shot and cover. And you can see data is on screen in the top right hand corner underneath the timer. Snap that jab out, bring those hands back, cover and work the room. When you're working the heavy bag workouts here on the Nate Bauer Fitness YouTube channel, I always want you to think about changing positions around the bag, working angles. You can always add combinations if you've been here for a while. Breathe as you punch. This is not a heavy bag boxing hit workout. It's all about getting you guys to throw different combinations all the way through. So throw a jab, cover, cross. Add a right hand, that rear power shot. One, cover, two, let's go. That's it, work. So you're targeting on the heavy bag every time you're throwing those combos. Try to throw both those shots in the same divot. You're working from the outside champions. Breathe as you rip that rear shot. Again, if you feel like you want to add combinations here, do that. It can be a jab, cover, two, three. It can be a jab, cover, two, five. And we're gonna add on the lead hook here. So one, cover, two, three, jab, cover, rear cross, lead hook. One, cover, two, three, let's go. Always reset your hands back to your chin. Guys, even in round number one, you want to think about your, it's, it's a versus. It's you versus the heavy bag. You versus your own conditioning. You really want to push the boundaries a little bit whenever you feel comfortable and ready. So find a reason to push a little bit harder and get after it. But in round number one, make sure you're controlled, composed, throw that one cover, two, three, move. Now one, two is nonstop, go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Put a little power into these. Move left to right. Pick a direction, maybe throw 10 shots one direction, 10 shots the other. Again, who are you working against? This is boxing, this is heavy bag, this is training. This is heavy bag work. Keep going strong, guys. Keep going strong. You only have 10 seconds left. Now, more power with a little pause after the one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Jab, cross. Four, three, two, one time. Great job, guys. Let's have a quick rest. And we'll head up around number two, where your first combination will be a lead hook, rear uppercut. Then you're gonna take one step back and throw a cross. So coming up is that three, lead hook, six, rear uppercut, step back two. You can hear it in my voice that I want you to throw it with a little more aggression. Again, guys, we're working boxing, training, heavy bag workouts. Move with these boxing combinations. It's a three, six, step back, two. A three, six, step back, two. Let's go. One thing I want you guys to think about, if listen, if you're a cyclist and you're doing a lot of spinning, say on the Peloton app, if you're a runner, get these workouts in because they're gonna really keep your heart rate elevated and give you really good cross training to really give you a break from your usual routines and also keep your heart rate up the same what it would if you were cycling on the Peloton app or if you were just outside running. These are a great way to mix it up so that you can always keep it interesting. And boxing really is the ultimate cross training workout. So just try it. All levels, you can get it done. Push off three, push off four. Keep your eyes on your target. Let's go. 
You're getting a high guard as the bay comes in and then creating a little distance between you and your opponent and letting your hands go. That's it, keep working it, you're good. Push three, push four. One minute and 30 seconds left to go in the round. Now add power here. It's a push three, four, push three, four. So the sound or the timing between punches is less. So it's a push, pop, pop. Push, pop, pop with power. Let's go guys. And again, feel free to move around the heavy bag a little bit or just stand there and wail as if you're in the middle of the boxing ring. It's up to you. Now move around the bag, throw fast jab, just go. Let's go, throw those fast jabs. Now you want to dip to the rear side as you throw your jab. So you're slipping and ripping with the jab. Slip and rip. There you go. Slip and rip. There's the demo on screen. Let it go. And you can shadow box with this or hit the heavy bag. It's up to you. Breathe as you snap that fast jab. Move. Get back at it. Add the rear uppercut. So when you're dipping to that rear side, Throw the rear uppercut when you're there. You're punishing your opponent for missing. Come back up to your neutral position. Get back to work. Rip, slip, rear uppercut. And if you want, you can continue that combination or just throw power hooks. You can continue that combo or finish with these power hooks. You see 30 seconds left between rounds. Here your coach is giving you water. Again, preparing for that big boxing match or that next round coming up. And your next combo will be a two, three. That's the rear cross lead hook. So you're gonna be throwing that cross from the back side, the rear side, you're gonna be throwing that lead hook from the lead side. Keep your hands up, breathe on these combos. Walk up to the heavy bag. Look at Travis, demo the action. And let's get ready to work. Ready? Let's go. Often when I'm hitting the heavy bag, and I want you guys to start thinking about this too, is if you're watching lead up to big fights, like, and you've seen these guys train, you could try to mimic some of their, you know, their attributes. Pacquiao has very quick footwork movements. You know that Garcia loves throwing that, those hooks to the body. That's kind of his thing is his lead hook. So maybe you're trying to mimic these fighters that you've seen train, right? So you can do that. Now cover after the two, three, cover, two, three, cover, block those shots coming in. But think about Pacquiao, you do not want him to land that, that hook on your chin. If you do, it's lights out. Controlled footwork, you can be moving your feet a little faster. Who are you when you work in the bag? Are you just you or are you trying to mimic another fighter? Have fun with it, guys. Two, three, cover, move. Where's your power at? You can still through your still see that target through those through that cover champ. Elbows are tight making a heart shape with your hands and wrists. You can still see the target because you need to come back and fire again. Bop, bop, cover, move. Uppercuts, five sixes, let's go. Non-stop, you're working the inside, your shoe shining. You could throw five, six, five, six, three body. Five, six, five, six, three body cross. Of course, you can mix it up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. On your toes, let's go. 
rear cross lead hook cover slip cross rear cross lead hook cover slip cross so let's go guys you got to power the right hand off of the slip as you slip to your rear side power that rear cross off of the slip and as you slip, make sure you, again, your eyes and focus are forward at the target, not looking towards your rear side. Stay sharp, composed. Again, three, four, lead hook, rear hook, power shots, finish strong. Keep going. And time. Let's go. On your toes. Shake it out. How'd you feel that round, guys? I want you to push a little bit harder with this one. Again, so step in with a cover. So again, you're working your way in with that cover. Then you're going to step out again, throw a jab and a rear cross. So step in with a cover, step back out, one, two. Step back in, step in with a cover, step out, one short step, jab, cross. Step in, step out. One, two. Step in, high guard, step out, jab, cross. Let's go. Start working right now, guys. If you don't need to see the demo right now, get to work. Yeah, that's right. You're ready to go. You're good. So in terms of effort, I want you guys to be working anywhere between 80 and 90% on this. Think about your legs are strong. Your lead foot pushes you out. Your rear foot gets you back in. When you step out, don't step so far back that you cannot make contact with the bag. So find that medium range. Don't step too far back. You're trying to make room for that long range jab cross. Add the lead uppercut. Step back, one, two, five. Step in high guard. Step back, one, two, lead uppercut, that number five. Let's go. See, I'm in 88%, just using my legs and my power shots. And I know you guys know the Jake Paul fight's coming up soon. One thing you have to look out for is is for both of these guys with Askren is that whose legs are gonna give out first. So if this fight goes any distance, it's all about whose conditioning legs will go out first. And that's usually where veterans come and play where they know how to make you miss and make you work for your conditioning. So it's gonna be interesting. Squat two, squat three, let's go. So squat, lead hook, squat, rear cross. And this is where you get your legs to fire, let's go. Don't hold, hold back on me guys. Use your legs, power through the bed. Even when you're squatting down, look at your target. Don't lose sight of your opponent, and that's the heavy bag right now. Good job, champions. Warrior status. Now duck to the side. So change position as you squat and duck. So you're just kind of stepping under, ducking under a big punch coming in with your squat, come up out of that squat, throw the cross and the lead hook. So slight position change on the bag as you duck under and step. Movement, footwork. Are you a fighter or are you just moving around? Are you a beginner or are you an expert? Or do you not care and you just wanna throw your hands? Either way guys, just let's do it, have some fun with it. One, two is non-stop, power shots. Through the bag, finish the fight, 95%. Two, one, great round, guys. Now with round number five, once again, I really want you to push hard and just think of being a little more aggressive with this round. So you're gonna do an aggressive attack. 
And just think about stepping forward with a quick lead hook. That's the number three. Step forward and attack first with that lead hook. So you're gonna dip your rear shoulder to wind up this lead hook just like this and step in and snap that lead hook. Bop, like that. Wind the shoulder, wind the torso and the hips, step in and snap it. Let's go. There you go. When you land nice and sturdy and balanced on your legs and get ready to go back to work. Work it guys. Breathe with it. Wind, get in there, snap the hook, go back to work. Change the angle after every one of these because again, you're getting in tight. Especially if you're missed, you will be vulnerable after throwing this step in lead hook. So change the angle right away. And now we're gonna pivot. Add the pivot to it. So step in hook, pivot. Step back, cross. Step in three, pivot, cross. It's a fun combination, guys. Rear cross, lead hook, cover, slip, cross. Again, this is different than the 30 minute heavy bag hit workout where this is more of a gradual build. So think about your building gradually and it's all about you having control and composure with your punches and add in power where you want. Add in boxing combination speed when you want. It's all training. It all works. It's all good. We're going to add to this combination about 10 seconds. So keep working. Keep going, keep going. All right, guys, what you're gonna do here is push off the heavy bag, pivot to your lead side, throw a jab. Pivot to your rear side, throw a cross, come back, reset. Push, pivot left one, pivot right two. Push, pivot to your lead side, jab, pivot to your rear side, cross, let's go. Try to beat the heavy bag back to the position. And then a fast jab and a powerful cross. Fast jab, off the pivot, fast cross, off the pivot. And again, push that heavy bag away from you, create space and go back to work. Footwork, movement, boxing, entertainment. Keep working guys, take it all in. I know you're not gonna stop moving. I know you're not gonna stop punching but often sometimes you hold your breath. So when you're moving, just make sure you capture when you're holding your breath and breathe as you move. And as you punch, jab, jab, cross. Power, one, one, two. Yeah, that's it. Give me a little more guys. I know there's more in the tank. I know you can punch harder. Finish strong, one, one, two, one, one, two. Again, the 96%, it doesn't seem like that until you push a little harder, get into the red zone with me. And time, good job, Warriors. That's what I'm talking about. Round number six, you're gonna step in with a jab, rear hook, five, lead uppercut. So it's a step in, one, four, five, cover, and then duck back. Step in, one, jab, rear hook, lead uppercut, hands up, and then duck back just a little bit. Take your time with this. You can start to move now. Do it with, it. Do it with us on screen. There it is, Trevor's taking you through. Boom, boom, boom. Cover, duck out. Let's go, one, four, lead uppercut, cover, duck out. Continue to work. The toughest part about this combination is setting up your rear, your lead uppercut off of the rear hook. So again, positioning. 
you're snapping the jab out, make sure you step in a little to land that rear hook. And then you can either stay there to throw the lead uppercut or you can step back a little bit. Now add a cross. So again, one, four, five, cover, step back, cross. One, four, five, cover, duck out, two. Four, five, six, three. Four, five, six, three. Four, five, six, three. Non stop. Go. Four, five, six, three. Non stop. This is a hit component or a hit segment. Four, five, six, three. Four, five, six, three. Get this conditioning in. You're going to see our heart rates are elevated. Is yours? Four, five, six, three, nonstop. Find that rhythm. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 pop. That's what you want, guys. You gotta get after it. One, two, one, two, slip, slip. Jab, cross, jab, cross, slip, slip. Even after you break down your opponent, you can still manage to throw counter shots and slips. Slips and counters. Attack and defend. It's all here. You're still that good, you're still that composed. You gotta finish strong, we're almost done this session. Four, five, six, three, again. Four, five, six, three, again, finish strong, this is it. The workout ends here. Okay, hit segment again, little interval, little boxing interval, the boxing hit, to finish this workout out. Four, five, six, three, non-stop guys. And time, you guys are amazing. Please subscribe to the channel if you like that workout. If you want to see more, let us know. And of course, we will always get it done. This is Nate Power from Nate Power Fitness. We'll see you beautiful people for the next workout.